Hi, and welcome back to This Homestead Life. I'm Jenny, and today I'm gonna let you take a look at the homeschool curriculum we chose for our daughter, who is in the seventh grade this year. So this is a quote from Helen Keller on true happiness. Many persons have a wrong idea of what constitutes true happiness. It is not attained through self-gratification, but through fidelity to a worthy purpose. So I thought it'd be really helpful today if I shared the curriculum that we chose for our daughter who is going into the seventh grade this year. Now we've already started homeschool. We started last Monday, so we've already gotten our feet wet. So I'm really enjoying it so far and I think she is as well. So I'm really excited to share with you today the uh, all the subject curriculum that we chose for. Uh, in the description below is my video on all of the enrichment studies that we decided to do for this year. So these are all of the things like picture study, music study, poetry, um, hymn study, nature study, scripture memory, um, and so forth. Um, so all of the, the beautiful things that we'll be studying this year, I've already done a video on, and that's my morning basket video. So I will link that video in the description and you can go check that out. So for all of her individual studies, um, so I chose the Simply Charlotte Mason lesson plans for grade seven. Now we did not go with everything Charlotte Mason for her for this year, but I did choose to go with the lesson plan guide. I find this incredibly helpful because it basically tells her what she will be doing every single day for the entire school year. It, it does not leave anything to question. It is very bullet pointed as far as what she is supposed to accomplish for the day, every day of the school year, like I said. So here is a look at term one. Now there's three terms in the year and every term will look a little bit different, but for the first 12 weeks, this is what her week will look like. history and geography, we will be doing these subjects together as a family. So this lesson plan guide is for all three of my kids. However, there is a section for each day um, for 7th to 12th graders showing additional assignments that you will give them a per lesson. So I really appreciate that already being lined out for us as well. For geography, we have this mapping guide, actually for all three kids. And so we will be studying Africa and ancient Egypt all year long. So this book walks you through mapping the different countries of Africa. And each lesson you get a little bit more in depth with what you have to memorize as far as which countries and where they're located on the map. By the end of the school year, 
all three kids should be able to completely map the entire continent of Africa and also know various facts about the different countries and resources and history and so forth. Along with our history and geography are these two books that also came from the Simply Charlotte Mason curriculum and the first one is just a look at the global family um, based on country. The second one is all about what the world eats also based on country. These two books are beautiful and I am so excited to have them as resources for our geography and history this year. some additional books for my daughter for history, Ancient Egypt and Her Neighbors, The Golden Goblet, and The Cat of Bubasti. She will be reading these throughout the year and doing some compositions on each one. I also got her David McCulley's Motel of Mysteries, which came highly recommended. Every Tuesday, she will be taking a subject called self-knowledge, and this book is also from the Simply Charlotte Mason um, curriculum. Uh, this book was written by Charlotte Mason, and I'll give you just a really quick overview by reading just a little blip here from the note to the reader. You are about to embark on a grand adventure. Throughout this book, you will be exploring a great and beautiful country, yet it is also a country full of dangers and enemies. This is not a country that you can buy a ticket and take an airplane to. It is a country that travels with you wherever you go. It is the country within you. We will be calling it man's soul. Getting to know that country within you, self-knowledge, is a lifelong discovery. So this book is going to be very interesting, like unlike any other book probably she's ever read. Um, they take it very slow, just one very small chapter at a time, and it is only one day a week, like I mentioned. days a week she will be taking Latin so this is her first year of Latin and this is the book that the Simply Charlotte Mason curriculum recommended so I ordered this through Amazon it's getting started with Latin it's a guide specifically for homeschoolers and it is a very soft introduction to Latin but by the end of the year, she should be very knowledgeable in a lot of the words and understanding a lot of root words in our English language and how they relate back to the Latin language. So, you know, I never took Latin in school, so I am learning right alongside her this year, which is very exciting. every single day of the week. For her math, we chose Abeka. And the reason behind our choice for Abeka is we are actually transitioning from a small private school setting uh, where we went uh, for two years. So we were homeschooling. Then we, during COVID, we started going to the small private school. It was fantastic. Um, it's close by, I actually taught second grade for two years there and we loved it. Um, but they do a, an Abeka curriculum there and all three of my kids really, really enjoyed the Abeka math. Now, Abeka is a very rigorous, rigorous cur curriculum, I will say. Uh, we did decide to stick with the Abeka 
all three of my kids wanted to do a backup. One thing that we are doing a little bit different is we're not necessarily saying they have to do the entire lesson every day. Um, because with a Becca, it can get lengthy. What we're doing for our daughter, and this was kind of, you know, a decision between my husband and I, is we're having her do the homework portion of her lessons. And if she can do all of the problems within her the homework portion correctly, then we don't we don't make her do the lesson part. She reads through the lesson part to learn. We just have her do the homework because we felt like that was a really good overview of what that lesson was about. And now if she if she starts to make some mistakes in the homework portion, then we're gonna have her go through the lesson and do work some problems in there. But this generally takes her about half an hour, which is exactly what the Simply Charlotte Mason curriculum recommends for math is about half an hour for seventh graders. So she has a little timer and she sets that. And so far this has been going very well having her do the homework portion. I also have the quizzes and tests to administer to her. So we will be grading all of our kids um, on their math, which our kids really like grades. And that was one of the things they were really gonna miss um, from the private Christian school that we're going to is not having a report card. <laughs> So, um, I think that they're excited about it and I think it's a really great way to stay on top of making sure your kids are exactly where they need to be um, with their math skills. Two days a week, she will be doing language and spelling and those two subjects go together. Now, these, this, this part of the curriculum is from Simply Charlotte Mason and here is just a quick look through the language they always uh, tie in the spelling portion along with the language lesson um, and yeah we're really enjoying this so far and one of the clips in the beginning of the video was me doing the dictation portion of her spelling for today's lesson so instead of her just having a list of spelling words that she has to memorize it's actually a quote and uh, I really like this, this style of spelling. So the last, the last uh, piece of curriculum I'm, curriculum I'm gonna show you today is the science that we decided to go with. So this was a really big decision, but I am so excited about the science that we chose and our daughter seems to be thrilled as well. So we decided to go with Apologia, Exploring Creation with General Science. So this is a Christian um, creation-based science curriculum and it is jam-packed with just beautiful illustrations, uh, the way it is written, I think, is so, so wonderful for this age group. They're just having a conversation with you about science. And my daughter really, really likes this. Um, it has a lot of experiments built in. And there are a lot of lab reports as well that she has to fill out with these experiments. But So that was the science book. This is the student notebook. So this is what she writes in. So... This is, again, I think I'll probably take a video kind of flipping through so you can kind of get an idea of how this science is laid out. But it is very, very good um, from what she's done so far.
helpful. If you enjoy content like this, um, be sure to like and subscribe. I do all kinds of videos, everything from life here on the homestead, um, baking and recipes, obviously homeschooling type stuff as well. I would love your support um, here on my channel. Thanks again for watching. Bye.